thing is, I do believe there was talk about these things. I believe if we study history, you know, the Confederates were able to shoot pterodactyls, you know, and back in the Civil War, and they spread these things out. Anybody can look it up online. Google can spread these things out. And this is, this is, this is, excuse me, this is a historical fact. So, you know, they spread this thing out, and this has got a huge wing wing. It was a pterodactyl they shot. So, of course, these things have been around. Now, they went extinct, obviously, slowly, but surely. And so, what I'm saying is Jesus wrote a dinosaur to work. That's history. It's in the Bible. How to train your dragon. Historical facts. And if you don't believe it, do your own research. Pull up Google. You'll find the picture. I promise. Oh my god. Thank you, John Gleason, godless engineer, for gifting me this beautiful moment. Y'all remember when they tried to cancel Steven Spielberg for posing with an animatronic triceratops animal rights activist? Back it up. Hit it from the back. Historical facts. Eat my ass, BP. You're down here bailing on the rest of us because you don't want to process your grief and shame like a normal person by drinking and mistreating strangers. No, Rick. It is you who must nibble my cloaca or bird asshole. Everyone knows what a cloaca is. You know, back in the Civil War, and they spread these things out. Anybody can look it up online. They spread these things out. And this is, this is, this is, excuse me, this is a historical fact. So, you know, they spread this thing out, and this has got a huge wing wing. It's a pterodactyl they shot. So, of course, these things have been around. Now, they went extinct, obviously, slowly, but surely. And so... Paul Bunyan was sharing some Bunyans with his pet, Velociraptor. Whoa. <laughs> oh, you thought it was an ox? Roll back the clock. Let me knock the socks off. Historical facts. I didn't cut out. You heard me. Are you a pervert or something? Okay. What's up, heathens? How y'all doing? <laughs> I'm the godless engineer, and I critically analyze apologist claims to give you the best arguments and information so that you can stand up and use your voice. Today we're going to be taking a look at an interesting look into, I guess, the life of a flat earther. Uh, we're not really going to be covering any kind of scientific information or any kind of proofs, really, that the flat earther brings up because he he's just sort of ranting in his car. So if you guys want a deeper look into the mind of a flat earther, then please stay tuned. In a second, hold on. Here we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, so, um, hopefully, uh, th th let me know if my sound is good, everybody. Huh? You're, oh. Shit. <laughs> Apparently my uh my headset didn't charge. Um no uh it would take too much for me to to reconnect to connect them up here. Um sorry. Yeah, I'll be able to hear it. <laughs> um I, I guess so. It'll just come through the speakers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to. This way. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, somebody's asking where to acquire one of these sweet hats. I think that I might have a couple left. Uh, somewhere. So if, uh, if you want to, you can email me, John at godless and, uh, I'll do my best to get one out to you. Uh, so yeah, just, uh, email me, John at godless If you're really interested in one of these sweet beanies. Yeah. 
It's where it wirelessly charges. <laughs> uh, so, uh, okay. Uh, tonight we're going to be going over a flat earther. We do of course have some, uh, today I learns as well as comments and everything like that. Um, uh, we got bro Cephas. that's going to be stopping by too. Um, which, uh, I, I don't, uh, I didn't prepare him, uh, tonight, but, uh, he's going to be here. Um, so if you're new to the stream here, uh, what we do is uh, any of the revenue generated that super chats or, uh, you know, skeptic uh, mafia memberships or anything like that. Uh, any of that are all of our, a portion of all of those things are going to be going to a charity this month. We're jumping on the Betty white bandwagon and uh, we're going to be donating to uh, a, uh, like a, a, a pet or animal, uh, sort of, uh, charity type thing. Um, like a, a no kill shelter or something like that. We're, we're going to be donating to that this month. So if you want to help us donate to charity, then consider sending a super chat, uh, or becoming a member that also helps, but just watching videos here also helps. Uh, we got uh, SN Balmung who became, um, a pure free thinker. Thank you so much there, SN. Uh, nice to, nice to have you amongst the pure free thinkers. Um, so, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go on ahead and get into the today I learned. All right, here we go. Today I learned. All right. Ah, oh, shit, we got Cadence to save the Fluffies. Thank you so much there, Cadence. I appreciate you. Uh, notifications are on. There we go. Well, it says it was playing through the desktop, but I didn't hear it. Let me uh let me make sure I can. Okay, well uh, that that's the that's the thing that matters the most right now. Uh, anyways, uh, well uh, the stream heard it, so awesome. <laughs> At least the stream is hearing it. Okay, so first up on today I learned is uh today I learned that if you register that you are religious in Germany, then church taxes are deducted from your paycheck and sent to the church automatically which is uh, one of the reasons why I chose to wear this shirt tonight to keep this wall. I, I don't, I, I personally think that that shouldn't be happening, but then again, I'm not, I don't live in Germany. I'm not German. So, uh, you know, I don't know how Germans out there feel about it, but I would think that that would be kind of shitty. Uh, I mean, over here in the States, we just have churches that send bills to their parishioners instead of having it automatically deducted from their paychecks. So, <laughs> But uh, in any case, apparently that's what happens over there in Germany. Next up on today, I learned. And this is this is kind of interesting. Um, and maybe I should check with Ocean about this because I don't know how how legitimate this is. It does come from Wikipedia. So um, anyways, uh, <laughs> today I learned that Norse mythology, Loki, got fucked by a horse and became pregnant. He would then later give birth to the eight legged horse, uh, Slefnir, Slefner, which would become Odin's horse. So Odin has an eight legged horse, you say. And an eight legged horse, an arachnid horse. Anyways, um, the people in the side chat right now are saying that's true. So I guess that maybe I don't need to consult ocean about it, but damn, um, I mean, shit, I bet you that tore Loki's beehole up. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, apparently Zumi in the side chat says, yes, it's true. Loki turned himself into a female horse, had sex with another horse and then gave birth to Slepanir. Cool. 
I guess. <laughs> fucking, fucking Loki. It's like, can you imagine how bored he would have had to have been? It's like, you know what? Horse sex seems neat. Uh, seems like a good idea. <laughs> and so he just turns into a horse to get fucked. Normally you gotta go to like, you know, some kind of, some kind of weird show where you pay extra money to see that kind of weird shit. Anyways, next on today I learned is kind of depressing. Um, this comes from our science, uh, where apparently there's strong evidence that shows the sixth mass extinction of global biodiversity is in progress. The other five were caused by extreme natural phenomena. This one is caused by human activity. Um, and uh, I mean, I, I, I can't disagree with it. I, I feel like uh, maybe we could lay a lot of the blame on the Trumpers. I mean, they've only been around for the last few years, but I kind of feel like, you know, their effects are very detrimental. So, uh, and plus we could probably convince them of it. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, a little bit of depressing news there. Um, I, I think that it's, uh, uh, well, I know that we're kind of overdue for a mass extinction. So it, it kind of uh, follows, but I mean, I, I think that this is probably going to take a while. So I, I guess, you know, our great, 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 great grandchildren uh, are going to have to deal with that shit. Sucks for them. <laughs> yeah, un unless a giant asteroid hits us. Then that's our problem, I guess. Huh? Maybe 2068? Okay. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for today. I learned today. Y'all know what's next, right? Yeah, comments of the day. Prepare to please put yourself in the next week. Do I? I just, I just sort of like randomly placed my fingers on it and just strum. It, to like whatever kind of fucking beat comes to mind. I'm just like, da, 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 da. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we got a bunch of uh, dumb science shit tonight in, in the comments uh, on social media. Um, so this first one <laughs> comes from Twitter and uh, is <laughs> that they're saying, <clears throat> Oh, I'm on the right side of history. God made the greatest immune system ever. Science didn't. God doesn't create viruses that kill people. Man does. I, I like the on and off use of grammar there because I feel like it needed some commas all throughout that. But in any case, uh, you're not on the right side of history. God did not create an, an immune system at all because our immune system developed naturally. And uh, it's not a perfect immune system. That's why we do have diseases. But in order for you to say that, like, diseases are all man-created or, or viruses are all human-created, I think that that's just a little, like, and that that's far-fetched even for, like, a radical Republican type person uh, or a radical Christian. Like, uh, just saying that, uh, see, typically what I've, hear, what I've heard, uh, from religious people is that original sin is what is why viruses are here. Why we suffer genetic disease, uh, diseases and, and everything. So it, it just, it kind of seems weird that somebody would go this route that, Oh, they're all, uh, you know, created by man, like directly instead of indirectly through eating fruit. Um, all right, we got a couple of milestone chats. We got Drew's book reviews, who says the only flat Earth is the Discworld, and it rides on the back of four elephants standing on the back of a great Atuan, a giant star turtle. Hail Atuan! Uh, Jester says not long until CRISPR will likely improve the immune system. Uh, probably. Uh, uh, I mean... They're making all kinds of advancements, but you see, the problem is, is that, uh, you know, you've got dumbasses out there like the Trumpers who don't even want to take a vaccine. So, um, I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like CRISPR kind of plays into their fantasies a little bit about, 
you know, persecution and edit and gene editing and all this other stuff. That, that's what makes them post on Twitter. Like y'all know what the vaccine, it changes your genes. It totally replaces them with a dead person's genes. What if that happens? Do you change your face? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point there, hun. You don't change your face. When you get a blood transfusion, I think the vaccine's fine. <laughs> uh, next up on the shitty comments, uh, we've got this guy. <laughs> and this was on, um, on January 16th, okay? And this guy says, three more days until the 5G rollout. Good luck, vaxxed people. I hope it's as harmless as you think everything but the Rona is. So here's the weird thing about the whole 5G deal is that um, the, the, the 5G rollout was specifically centered like around airports and stuff because like, I mean, we've had 5G for a while. Uh, and, and so, I mean, there, there are already, you know, uh, um, uh, cell phone tire towers up that use 5G technology, it's just that not all of them do. So it would seem like if the vaccine reacts to 5G signals, it would have already happened to some people already. So I, I don't know what you mean in uh, the 5G rollout. It just seems like you're misunderstanding what that entire situation is about. But also, I love the whole conspiracy theory that somehow 5G radio waves are going to uh, like impact vaccinated people like i don't know if they think that it uh, uh charges like the vaccine in in you and it causes you to explode i've seen that conspiracy before but i don't know what they think is gonna happen it just seems it seems fucking weird <laughs> next up is some climate change dipshittery we got this guy, Michael Knowles, who says, Dear Libs, if global warming is real, then why is it snowing in Nashville? Yours skeptically, Michael. Also, I'm probably drunk while I'm writing this. At least, I hope he was. So, <clears throat> people have this really big misconception about global warming. Uh, and they think that just because we it, it, we first called it global warming um that means that everything is just getting hotter um and that's not what it means um it, climate change is uh, a more accurate term or phrase i guess for describing it because our climate is changing so that means that it's not only warming but it, extreme weather events are likely to happen and our planet in general is warming up definitely um, and that's what I guess maybe what initially the global warming thing meant, but they don't think about the, about the ramifications of, of what it means for the planet to warm up. That means extreme weather events, um, like, like the extreme cold, uh, snaps that have been experienced. Like in Texas, was that in 2020 that happened in Texas or was that 2021? I think it might've been 2021 where Texas did the deep freeze when that last year. Yeah, I think it was last year with the deep freeze. Um, right. The point is climate is not weather, especially local weather. So it, it, these people are just, you know, ridiculous. And uh, I feel sometimes it feels like they willfully misunderstand things. But I think that it's just genuinely the the on the Dunny uh, on the on the Dunning Kruger scale. They're just fucked we got uh i heart dogs sending a super chat saying at home with three vax c19 I, this person just bought an express ticket to hell <laughs> hey y'all know what any time is a good time for a beer here we go it definitely is um so uh let's see. Uh I heard dogs ask, what you drinking? And I'm I'm drinking the good old cracking cream soda. More cracking than cream though. <laughs> um 
Well, see, that was Lure Reality who sent a, a member chat talking about uh, being at home with three vax. I Heart Dogs said, what you drinking, GE? And then Quentin Van Boeven, who's got a straight uh, a, a ticket to hell, saying, sending in my weekly tithe, hoping to get off work soon so I can watch. Uh, you still got a little bit of time because we got to get through these comments and uh, we got to get through Bro Cephas. So, uh, yeah, uh, you got time there, Quentin. Um, all right. So next up is this sign. Death rate, COVID-19, 2.3%. Sin, 100%. What concerns you? Well, considering th that I don't believe in sin, and sin is basically just a transgression against God, like against God's laws or God's will or something like that. I don't give a fuck what God wants. Okay. So I, I don't care. Therefore I am not concerned about sin and I would hazard to bet that you cannot link sin to any one particular death out there. Uh, just because sin is totally subjective and, and sin is not medical at all. Like it's not physical. Like that's a, that's like a celestial kind of bullshit. So I, I don't think that you could actually produce anything that would that would point us in that direction. Um, so definitely COVID-19 is the one that concerns me. Um, I, I, I kind of feel like uh, you're more likely to die from COVID-19 than you are from any one particular sin. I mean, I guess it does kind of <laughs> depend on the sin, but I mean... Considering what we know about what sin is, like, I just, I don't think, for the most part, I feel like sin is not going to be dangerous for anybody. Uh, uh, let's see, we got, we had Alex Baranowski, um, uh sent in their um, milestone chat saying, GE is a little lad who wants berries and cream. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure what that means there, Alex, but berries and cream are normally really great in yogurt. Like the yogurt that where you get, you got the berries and cream. Those are always tasty. Oh, this one's on topic for tonight. So this guy right here thinks he's <laughs> thinks he knows his shit. So <clears throat> I'm going to try to read this. Oh, Lure Reality what says, are you doing? I blew my load. <laughs> yeah, is it? <laughs> uh, Lure Reality. May oh, the shit. power of Christ compel you to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Lure Reality says, For the sin bin. I don't know what y'all have heard, but donating is not going to make me stop. Fuck me in the asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how KC said she likes how the normal ones are back. I like how she said that for the one where I talk about fucking myself in the asshole. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Ned Silver says, I haven't caught you live in a while. I just want to say I love your guys podcast. It's the funniest shit I hear all day. Thank you so much there, Ned. Appreciate you. Then we got Alex who says, oh, geez, there's a TikTok meme about berries and cream. I thought you'd have seen it. I actually haven't been on TikTok. I don't know what you all have heard, but donating is not going to make me stop. Fuck me in the asshole. Just <laughs> Jim Taker says for the kitties and the puppies. Thank you so much there, Jim. Appreciate you. Uh, so yeah, the back of this truck says they know you're stupid. All NASA is hoax astronauts. And then he's got a space is fake sticker. And then a 200 proofs. Earth is not a spinning ball. And well, no, I, it's it's like a website. I think it says it's flat earth some dumb shit dot com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I first read this, I actually read it like they know all NASA, you're stupid is hoax astronauts. 
Yeah, well, I mean, think about who you're talking about, hon. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think uh, next one is going to be the last one. It's another climate change one. So this first person says, you don't know what climate change really is, do you? It, it, and then this person is going to be like, I definitely what don't. What are you doing? Yeah. Woo! That's KC's money. <laughs> uh, yeah. Elizabeth Richardson says to help save the critters for Betty White. Thank you for being a friend. Hold on. Thank you for being a friend. I don't know the rest of the words. Something about confidence. <laughs> Anyways, Tim Tully says your wife's name is Attila, but you call her Hun. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely not Attila, un unless she piss her off. Then she kind of her attitude. Her <laughs> I'm, I may be getting Attila tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, okay. Back to the comment. This person doesn't know what climate change really is. And so they say, <clears throat> it's an unbalanced mass of the earth. Most likely due to man taking materials from one side of the world and giving it to the other side as it rotates in orbit. Pollution has a play, but mining construction oil is a bigger part on an atomic level of unbalancing the earth in its orbit. It, it's an unbalanced orbit because we're taking mass from one side of the earth and we're transplanting it to the other side of the earth. And so we're all kind of wibbly wobbly and that's climate change. We're wibbly wobbly, timely wimely. It's, it's a Dr. Who thing. Um, <laughs> so this is not climate change. I don't know what y'all have heard, but donating is not going to make me stop. Uh, fuck me in the asshole. <laughs> Daniel M says, David says, good night. Good night, David. I hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> you don't, don't listen to what little bro Cephas says down there. Okay. Uh, I hope you have a good night there, bud. And uh, I, you know, I hope you have a great weekend. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. I believe that's it for the comments. Uh, and now we're going to have uh, some shitty ass science. So are y'all ready for some Brocephus? I think everybody's ready for a little Brocephus. Okay. am I supposed to do it? I got to do it five times a day in order to please him. Anyways. All right. What's up, heathens? How y'all doing? Y'all in hell yet? I'm about to explain it. No, that is not what I look like when I masturbate to Jesus. What the fuck? I don't, I mean, I no. No. Hey, this person just bought an express ticket to hell. No, my penis does not have weird googly eyes and hair coming out the top. Okay? You've never seen my penis. Anyways, Jester says, for meatloaf. If y'all don't know, we lost a great one, meatloaf. And Louie Anderson passed away today. They've, uh... Uh, they, they, they were, I mean, I, I love the, uh, what was it? Li Life of Louie or something like that. He had a cartoon show there for a little bit. Louie Anderson. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? 
Yeah, he was one of the McDowell's people. That's right. Yeah. Ned Silver says, if you're ever having a bad day, just remember May there's the a guy. the power of Christ compel you to get the fuck out of here. That was a little rude. <laughs> if you're ever having a bad day, just remember there's a guy watching a 20 to 30 minute video on how to be an alpha male. Yeah, <clears throat> those that are alpha don't need to learn how to do it, okay? I'm just going to say it right now, all right? We also don't need big-ass trucks that scream, Little penis! Meatloaf is still the base, best safe word, I do agree. And um, Because, you know, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. No, no! Okay, anyways, let me explain what this is. This right here is a Who from Whoville taking a bath in the ocean, okay? That, huh? It is. It's a Who from Whoville. You can tell by the hair split, spitting out of the top of its head. It's got, a, it's got weird, funky shit going on up here, kind of like a Klingon or maybe like one of them... Um, one of them things from Stargate with the little little thing on his forehead. What are they called? Uh, fuck, I can't remember what their race is called. Anyways, those guys, uh, and then he's got the two big eyes, and then he's very unhappy because we surprised him. I mean, have you ever been in the shower or taking a bath and somebody jumps in with their, with their fucking phone? It's like, ha, gotcha. <laughs> And so this guy's just really pissed because we interrupted his shower. He was probably, you know, praising Jesus in that shower is what he was doing. I don't know. I mean, anybody could really. I mean, maybe you want some blackmail or something. You'll take my blankets. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's not Christian. Well, fuck. People are correcting me in the chat saying Jaffa. Yes. Jaffa. Cree. <laughs> I love them sons of bitches. Uh, we got Elizabeth Richardson who did a super chat. I'm sure GE won't mind me reading these things. Uh, this one, is, uh, this is one of Bersifus more plausible explanations. Isn't it? Drink up, I mean, motherfucker. It's not getting any better. That could not be any more true. You know... Donating this much only makes me drink more. Quentin Van Boeven says, sending in my weekly tithe. Hope to get off work soon. So, oh, wait, shit. Is that, did he send in two? No. Oh, for some reason, it's just now coming through over here. I don't know. That seems weird. Anyways. <clears throat> All right. So, yes. Who from Whoville being surprised in the shower while he's praising Jesus exactly what this son of bitch is you think it's nessie's penis i mean that i mean that kind of that could work <laughs> i mean look at it i mean it's angry because of uh, nessie's like a, the only dinosaur in loch ness so the penis would be kind of lonely you know and so and it's angry because it hadn't been put nowhere in a long time and no, nobody's given Whose dick needs a haircut? Are there animals that where their dick needs haircuts? I mean, cats do kind of have a spiny one, don't they? No, I mean, I'm fairly certain that the, the cats have spiny penises. Oh. That way the females can't get away. They get stuck on the barbs. Because that's what God does to animals. <laughs> He creates cats to have spiky penises so that the females can't get away. Tell me God's not a pervert. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for me today. And I guess uh, I will uh, see you heathens later. Maybe next time I'll have something better to come up here with. And, um, and yeah, I guess I'll just see you, you heathens uh, later. And I don't have anything else to say. I'm kind of brain farting right now. Goodbye, y'all. Shit, this ain't working. Hold on. Let me do that. There we go. Here. I mean, I could use a good, you know, a case or two. What? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I.
know, I'm starting to get immune to this shit. I gotta pump it up. And pump them numbers up. Oh. Woo! All right. Yes, I see Zoomy in the side chat there says, lick that like button. If you haven't already licked that like button, go right on ahead and do it. And hey, if you know somebody out there that, you know, likes flat earth shit, I don't know who would, but share the video with them because shit's about to hit the fan. Obviously, don't lick your phone. Yes, that's right. Sorry, the lawyers wanted me to let y'all know, uh, don't lick the phones. It's dirt. It's apparently dirty. Um, but, uh, obviously this, uh, this creature right here is just a seal looking backwards. Like it's a seal out there and he's looking backwards. The only thing is, is now he can't see the killer whale that's coming up to eat him. Well, yeah. Hey, y'all know I'm fairly what? certain anytime is a good time for a beer. That's fucking right there, S.M. Belmong, because I'm a shitty person. Aren't we all just the fucking shittiest, aren't we? <laughs> Sorry, I still got I still got a little bit of twang going on there. <laughs> all right. Are y'all ready to get to this uh, video tonight? I'm ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. No, no special little swap there. Just immediately fade in. OK, so. If you guys don't know, this is CC or Chris. He's from New York, which he'll tell us in his video. So not like doxing him or anything like that. He tells us that he's in New York, but um, he's in kind of a precarious position. And I, I, I feel for him a little bit on the one hand, but on another hand, I not surprised, I guess is the best thing that I can say. Uh, now, typically on this channel, you know, we handle the, the, um, inter not the interactions, but like the problems with being in a, like a mixed faith ma marriage. Like I've, I've had to speak on those particular topics before on this channel. And, uh, typically what happens and my advice always is to, you know, come to some boundaries with the person, talk to them. Communications key, uh, you know, being able to talk to them, set up boundaries, and, uh, you know, discuss how, how you guys are going to basically live together. And you both need to respect those boundaries. That's typically what I would do, but obviously that's not the path that this guy has chosen. He apparently wants chaos. And so we're going to see that tonight. We're also going to see the effects of these conspiracy theories, what they have on Otherwise normal people, I think, because I feel like this guy, like maybe 10 years ago, would have been just the normal fucking guy that you would have a beer with or something like that. But conspiracies have fucked him up and, and we're going to see the effects of that tonight. So I first want to preface the, uh, the main video by showing this video first. OK. So uh, he the put this on his channel. This donation went to Bayer. <laughs> but metalhead wants more money to go to dogs and cats. <laughs> I will make sure to notate that down there, metalhead. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm going to let this play and you guys will, will be able to uh, see what I'm talking about here. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Wherever you may be. Um, well, same day, same time. This is not to scale, of course. When I grew up, the solar system was stationary. All right, honey, come on. The sun was standing. Why don't you stop this bullshit? I love it. Can you give me like five minutes? No, you've had the all morning and I'm just freezing and I'm hungry and I'm trying to stop cleaning the house. Okay, so um if you couldn't hear, the his wife comes in behind him and is like, no, not this bullshit again. 
And, you know, it, it's very obvious that his wife is just totally done with this whole flat earth, like spreading the truth kind of thing that they're doing and, or that CC is doing, Chris is doing. And so it, um, I, I feel like this kind of gives a, a peek behind like, I guess what he publicly puts out there, which like I said before, he put this up on his channel. So it's up on his channel now. Um, so he obviously wants people to know what he's dealing with. But I think the problem is, is that, you know, obviously the wife doesn't respect his beliefs. And honestly, I can't blame her for it because it a flat earth. All of that shit is just so one toxic and too dumb. It really is. And so I, I sympathize for her, but I also feel kind of bad for him but at the same time, he kind of seems like he's a bit of a dick about it. like, especially about like his whole flat earth worldview there. He seems to be sort of a dick about it. So it's kind of hard for me to feel totally bad for him, but I recognize that he's kind of in a tough position, but I don't know why he's going to do it in her kitchen. I mean, I don't, well, there have been, well, I mean, our kitchen and living rooms kind of merge together, so. No, I've never recorded one in the kitchen, nor have I requested you be like elsewhere, like while I'm recording shit. That's, that's, <laughs> that's her kitchen, guys. Don't fucking touch her kitchen, okay? That's that's her workspace. <laughs> <laughs> Not from you. <laughs> she takes, she has a lot of pride in her kitchen and I'd try my best not to fuck it up. Um, but anyways, so I played that to preface this video because I feel like you'll get more clearly who, who he's complaining about. Uh, we got Jester. Listen, I don't care what you say. He was literally shitting in the holes. <laughs> <clears throat> Jester, Lord of Fools, says CC raises many questions here. None of them about the shape of the earth. I I, I would agree um, that it's 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 not ever about the shape of the earth that we're questioning. It's definitely uh, his. I feel like his sanity, like his mental health, is really at question here. So I'm concerned in general. Today I learned that atheists sacrifice babies on Halloween. <laughs> Jane Pusecker says my parents are polar opposite in what they believe. And they celebrated 55 years in December. My dad believes in God in some form. My mom does not. And Break he respects and loves her. Anyways. Not getting any better. That's true. Um, Quentin says finally home, make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons or Brosephus will come and drink all your liquor and preach about Jesus to you. I can just see Brosephus in the living room. Like, Hey, y'all got any more of that moonshine? Now, listen, I can tell you the proper way to suck Jesus dick, okay? <laughs> Jason Colesyke says you didn't bring this up because I left a mafioso comment. Oh, no, I, I haven't read any of them. Uh, I just, uh, I mean, I, I chose something that was interesting uh, for the video tonight, and I felt like this was kind of an interesting look. Uh, into like the conspiracy theory laden mind. And so that's why I chose it. Uh, I tried looking for like flat earth proofs and everything like that, but basically they were all like taking their cameras, zooming in on the horizon line out in the ocean and being like, see, it's flat y'all. They're all sitting on the horizon. There was one kind of interesting about eclipses, but it looked kind of old. So I don't know. I just, I really wasn't feeling it. Um, I've come to drink beer and shit on people. Luckily I have enough beer. <laughs> Luckily Quentin Van Boomen says, save the kitties. And I guess if we have to save the doggos, but more importantly, the kitties. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this shit show started. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, 
from New York, uh, Westchester County. I I highly advise against stating like you know down to the county of where you live at on the internet uh, in general. I mean, there are plenty of people have to know where you physically are located already. You don't need like the entire internet, especially if you're posting videos about flat earth shit. I just, I, I would not post up there like where exactly you're living at and everything like that. Um, unless, unless he doesn't live there and he's just throwing people off for whatever fucking reason, but would just advise against it. Wow. Still wearing snorkels. I don't know what the problem is with people wearing snorkels. Uh, th this seems like at first I was very um, thrown off, I should say, by him talking about snorkels. I had no idea what in the fuck he means by snorkels at first until I realized. I gotta tell you, I am thankful for my liquor. Shit, yeah. Um, I, I just, I, I, until I realized that he's talking about masks. He's talking about people wearing masks. And so it confused the fuck out of me until later in the video when it became pretty clear he was talking about masks. All right. Uh, I Heart Dog says, save the doggies. And I guess the kitties, but the doggies are most important. Sorry, Quentin. Ooh, we got a dog versus cat fight in the, in the chat here. like they need the shield anyway it's um 10 to 21 don't you see what you've done don't you see what you've done you've torn apart the earth that's right this beautiful little ball that we used to believe in this incredible miracle that was created from nothing. You tore it apart. You, you ripped it apart. Just like it's stitched together to show you a fake CGI picture. You tore it apart. Listen, I don't care what you say. He was literally shitting in the holes. <laughs> the Jim Tanker says, can we all just get along? Wolf and meow. Hey, you know, I've seen some cute ass dog cat videos where the dogs and the cats are snuggling up with each other. So it's possible. This person just bought an express ticket to hell. <laughs> Thank you there, Alex. Uh, <clears throat> Alex says, oh, fuck no. Dogs and cats are overrated. Team Gecko. Get a gecko. They are friendly and low maintenance. I have three mated female crested geckos right now. Uh, all right. So th this guy, uh, apparently he thinks, or at least he's been, uh, he, he thinks that he has ripped the globe apart or something like that, that uh, anything that he has ever said on his channel has disproved a globe earth. And it really hasn't. There are no flat earth proofs that are really proofs of a flat earth. They all fail on just basic uh, you know, just basic logic, uh, basic, uh, information, basic facts. They get them all wrong. Elizabeth Richardson says, uh, and they can save you 15% in 10 Listen, minutes or less. You say he was literally shitting in the holes. Um, yeah. The talking about Geico saving you 15%. <laughs> Uh, but so I, I feel like he's got a little bit of a, uh, maybe like a delusion of grandeur here, uh, because flat earthers nor even his proofs have done anything about the globe model. That is still the, the best explanation for what we experience. Metalhead says my dog says that I need to send more money. She is. What are you doing? Load. 
My dog, uh, she is said, uh, dogs are definitely are better. I think she is biased. <laughs> maybe, maybe she's biased. Um, but yeah, so he's got a little bit of a delusion of grandeur here with the effect of flat earthers on the globe model and, uh, the effect of globe earther or flat earthers, um, in the two Timothy, what the fuck ever. Sh Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Who? Irish is here. Uh, asexual atheist says espresso. My cat votes for cats. I'm the support staff. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, I feel I feel like cats are in the lead. So dog people have really got to get in those super chats. Um, anyways, uh, so a little bit of a delusion of grandeur here, and uh, we'll we'll see that uh, become more evident as we go along. And that's why you're a flat earther now. And there's no way of putting it back together again. There's just no way. When you've gone down this rabbit hole, shall we say, and you've uh, un unveiled, uh, God knows what, what exactly, where you've gone, what tunnel you went down, and, and figured out so many fucking things, you know, and realize the reason why all of this has been created is because of flat earth. I, I'm not exactly sure what he means by this, that everything's been created because of flat earth. I don't exactly understand what he means by that. Um, Darren Wright says, I have three dogs. They are the best. No one can do cats. I come to drink beer and shit on people. Luckily, I have enough beer. Uh, and then um, Cadence just says, meow. <laughs> I feel like that meow comes with knocking something off of like a table. Like meow, pff, fuck your couch. <laughs> um, I would definitely say that he's gone down a rabbit hole. Uh, not a good one either. Zoomy says, fuck dogs and cats. Team Mouse for the win. <laughs> hey, dipshit. This person just bought you a bear. Thank you. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I he has gone down a rabbit hole and this rabbit hole has really... Uh, fucked with his head a little bit. And uh, I just looking at this, you can tell that he is just so deeply ingrained in this idea. You know, donating this much only makes me drink more. Uh, cat says my dog loves cats. We can live together peacefully. Ah, somebody in the middle. I knew it. <laughs> Um, but you can tell that he deeply believes in this flat earth stuff and that it's, it's become so deeply ingrained that it's, it's almost like it's part of his personality or it's, it's part of his identity, uh, that, that he knows all of these truths now that he's done all of this research, which research here should be translated as a lot of time watching flat earth videos on YouTube or being in the flat earth Facebook groups or whatever. But, uh, I mean, you can just tell how he just completely believes in the whole idea that the earth is flat. They had to centralize us. They had to keep us alone from each other. And now everybody's out, you know, I mean, it's so nice to see people out right now. It really is. It's refreshing, but it was kind of a, a point, you know, this is coming from somebody who went through this, you know, and, and lived it for a year and a half with nobody out there, nobody on the road, no traffic, nothing, you know. There was nobody outdoors at all whatsoever. It was the middle of fucking July last year, and there was nobody outdoors. Um, well, yes, dipshit, there's a pandemic afoot. 
<laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't think that many people need to be gathering in mass outdoors in general. I, I think that we need to be smart about it. And, uh, I mean, I, I take it that he doesn't believe that the pandemic is really a pandemic, considering that he was making fun of people with masks, calling them snorkels and everything like that. I gather that he's very anti-vax, anti, uh, you know, global pandemic and um, and not in a good way, anti-global pandemic. Um, so, I, I mean... This seems to go hand in hand with the whole conspiracy theory idea of the flat earth thing, you know, denying that there's an actual pandemic, but whatever. Uh, we got Drew's book reviews says I have to speak up. Dragons are magical creatures. They beat cats, dogs, mice, geckos, and everything else. That's what my dragon says anyway. <laughs> hey, I don't know if y'all know this, but every time you donate, the Lord cries. That's right. Drew made the Lord cry. I'm sure he is not shedding any tears about it. Oh, look, Team Skeptic's in the chat. Now they're all out, mingling around. Still wearing snorkels, though. I don't know why. Still bubbling around. It's just so funny. See, that snorkel serves no fucking purpose at all. The snorkel you're wearing right now serves no purpose. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, if anything, is just showing people that you're fucking trained. That snorkel does nothing. I mean, I, I can't help but to wonder that... Well, I've come to drink beer and shit on people. Luckily, I have enough beer. Uh, I, I have to wonder if, if somebody like this guy, Chris here, uh, were to have to have some kind of surgery, would he request a surgeon that doesn't wear all the surgical gear that doesn't wear a mask that doesn't, you know, protect both the surgeon and himself from any kind of disease that might be floating around? Um, uh, of course, I'm not even going to attempt to you know, lay on him this, uh, the whole fact that you can actively go search online for the scientific studies about how masks definitely do work and they do do something. And when paired with social distancing helps restrict transmission of this virus that we're going through still, um, uh, you know, I'm not even going to touch on that. I just wonder if he has to have surgery for anything. Is he going to request them to not wear a mask? Is he is he gonna is he gonna ask for that? And uh, I feel like if if he were um, to stay consistent at least, uh, he would have to request it. I hope that he doesn't. I hope that he's at least smart enough to know that surgeons definitely need to wear masks and shit. But to me, I don't know. It just it, I I just have to look at somebody like this and ask them if they understand how contagious diseases work. Like, do you even fucking realize that this, this, uh, this reminds me of the idiocy of thinking that like the blood of Christ is going to protect you or, Hey, God won't allow the flu to transmit from this communion cup because that's God's communion cup. That just doesn't happen in church. It's like, holy shit. Oh, we had Princess Walt who said there is nothing like snorting unicorn uh, snout. It's magical to say the least. I'll just have to take your word on that. I don't know what the fuck unicorn snout is, but. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I don't know where I'm going with this video. I really don't. I, I don't care. I mean, all I'm saying is for flat earthers and me, who's a flat earther, once you tear it apart, you can't put it back together again. There's no way of going back, okay? There's no way of going back. Now, now that you've gotten over that, shall we say, hump, <laughs> which we only thought was going to be about two weeks anyway, to begin with, when all of this started, once you got over that hump and you 
realize that what you learned is bullshit. I'm, I'm just got to stop him because I have no fucking clue as to which direction he's going. And I mean, even he said that he doesn't know what direction he wants to go in with this. And uh, I just, I find it, find it odd because I don't know how long he's been a flat earther. I, I mean, it kind of seems like he's only become a flat earther like during the pandemic because he seems to be mixing up him becoming a flat earther with the pandemic starting, uh, which is going on. It's what second year, third year, third year. Listen, I don't care what you say. He was literally shitting in the holes. <laughs> Thank you, Jester. Jester said, I'd call this a good point if he meant climate change. Yeah, um, I, 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 I can agree with that. But um, so nobody ever thought that the pandemic was just going to be a couple week thing. Um, I, I, unless you're talking about Trump, who was trying to downplay it and say that, you know, that this isn't a problem. The, the, the virus isn't going to come here. And, uh, you know, it's just a few sick people. And obviously that's bullshit. Um, but at, at the time, I mean, Trump was playing it off. Like it would just be a couple week thing. So if he means Trump, then yes, Trump's a dipshit. Definitely. That, that was, that was bullshit. But, but, um, I, I kind of feel like he's mixing up flat earth with the pandemic. And it, so it just makes it seem kind of scatterbrained a little bit. And it's a little hard to follow. What I was going to initially say is that, listen, I don't care what you say. He was literally shitting in the holes. So, so <laughs> Aunt Jarrah said shitting in the halls or holes? Halls. It's a reference to the January 6th insurrection thing. Somebody shat in the halls. Um, uh, but anyways, what I was originally going to say uh, about this particular segment is that not being able to go back, you know, to a previous belief or whatnot is something I can kind of sympathize with because I, I feel the same way about, you know, not believing in a God. Like it would take an immense amount of evidence for me to change my mind about God and it's not just some simple thing that I can go back to. Uh, I mean, in that particular respect, I'm a very analytical thinker. Don't take that as me saying that this guy is analytical in any kind of way. He's definitely not. But I'm just saying that I can sympathize a little bit with the position that he finds himself in. And um, I hate that he's been so deeply convinced by the flat earth propaganda and the flat earth bullshit to believe that the earth is flat. Um, and to the point where he feels like he just can't go back to believing, you know, in facts and reality. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like this is, this right here highlights the problems with conspiracy laden thoughts uh, or thought processes, uh, conspiracy laden, uh, ideas, um, the, these claims. I, I feel like this is, this, this is the, the real, um, impact of all of that. And it's, it's really the way, the reason why I, I, uh, I've tried in the past at least to fight against it, but it just got so repetitive and boring. Um, Jason Cola Sykes says, screw cats, dogs, or geckos. My hundred foot travel accessory from disc uh, discord stomps on sharks for fun. Even wears nail polish on its, on its nails. Cool. <laughs> What you learned is fake nonsense and garbage. There's no way of going back, you know, but that's why, um, <sighs> flat earthers welcome dementia <laughs> at this point. I was muted. Um, 
I don't know what in the fuck that he means by dementia here. It, I mean, I, I don't know why anybody would welcome dementia or claim that they would welcome dementia because dementia is horrible. I mean, it's so fucking true. You know, I mean, it, unfortunately, it is true. That's the only way you're ever going to be able to get us to forget it. You know, because there's just no way. There's absolutely no way of ever, ever, ever going back. Well, I like to take this parking spot, but everybody's going to get a church. You know what church is? Church is a satanic thing here. Um, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess just all the proofs, honey. Probably the 200 proofs or whatever in the fuck Eric DeBay's doing yoga about now. Um, but, um, but yeah, I, I don't know why it like, this seems like a very like, ooh, shiny moment. It's, you know, he starts thinking about religion and church and everything. He's like, ooh, shiny church is of the devil. Okay, Chris, um, I'm sorry, but this is a Wendy's. <laughs> All right. Church is, um, it's another ritual. Just like the ritual people have is when they get themselves a taste of, um, the jab. It's a ritual. That's all it is. Okay. So now I think that what he said was the jab. So basically he's comparing getting vaxxed to a ritual, which is the same as going to church. I mean, I mean, yeah, there are definitely ritualistic portions of like religion and church and all that, obviously. Uh, but I mean, the getting vaccinated is not a ritual, uh, at least in that sense. Like that's a very overblown analogy there and just simply doesn't work. Um, at least not for the purposes that he's trying to, because what he's trying to communicate is this idea that people are getting vaxxed because of, you know, some kind of ritualistic need to get back. Not because vaccines work or anything like that. They're just sheep and they're, they're obedient and they're programmed to follow like instructions and things. And so that's kind of what he's trying to communicate here. It's just really not working like at all. You just sound really scatterbrained at this point. Almost like a, uh, a stream of consciousness. But you and I know the truth. They know. But let them live the rest of their lives like this. I mean, I, I, I can't open up eyes for people who just are ignorant. And, you know, I mean, you, you try to open up eyes, you know, and... Um, you can't even get through like a sentence with some people. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Not even a sentence with some people. You know, before you even get into like three words, all of a sudden they cut you off. Now, I'm just purely speculating out of my ass here, but I kind of feel like he's just come from a fight with his spouse and he's kind of lamenting over the fact that he apparently can't change her mind to a, a flat earth worldview. Um, you know, he talks about how some people just, you know, they don't want to open their eyes or they don't want to believe in flat earth. And it's not that we don't want to believe there are some people out there that genuinely just don't fucking care about that particular topic. And that's perfectly fine. There are people out there that just don't care about, you know, the atheist co topic or the religious topic. Everybody's got their own topics, but he's just seems to be very specifically lamenting over, 
you know, conversations that he's had with people. And I could only imagine the people that would stand to have multiple conversations with him would be his wife uh, that we saw earlier that obviously can't stand him when he's in this particular mindset right here of pushing his flat earther views. And uh, I mean, this is part of that thing that I was talking about earlier when you're living in a house where you have these mixed faiths or these, mi the, you know, the, the two people. I, with to tell you, I am thankful for my liquor. <laughs> when you're living in a house with two people or when two people are living in a house together and they have such radically different beliefs, you have to respect the boundaries of that other per of the other person. And um, in this case, what it seems like to me is that Chris here is the one that's violating the boundaries. Maybe they haven't set up boundaries or anything like that, but it's very clearly obvious that his spouse does not like this conversation, does not like him doing these things, but she allows him to do it. Right. She just doesn't want to be involved and she doesn't want it to impact her day or anything like that. So, I mean, I kind of feel like Chris is the one that's infringing on her boundaries here. That's why I said I can kind of sort of feel for him, but at the same time, he seems to be the dick in this situation. But then again, I mean, again, I'm, I'm speculating out of my ass about what he could really be talking or what, what, what spurred on this particular part of the conversation. So just take that with a grain of salt, but it kind of seems like that's the situation. That's a person who's asleep. That's a person that doesn't deserve to know the truth. Let them live the rest of their lives, bury in a fucking hole somewhere, you know? I mean, and living this fucking lie. Because we know what the truth is. We know we don't live on a fucking planet. We know we live on a flat, stationary plane. And that's it, bottom line. I'm sorry. That's where you live. It's not my fucking fault. God damn. Do you need a Snickers? Hold on a second. Let me just, let me, let me, let me pull this up here real, real quick. I, I can get this really quick. Hold on. Chris, do you need, do you need a Snickers there, bud? Just calm the fuck down a little bit. Okay. I mean, seriously, it, this really isn't that important of a subject. I mean, I get it. You think that it's that important of a subject, but it's not like the flat earth thing is dumb as fuck. Okay. And I feel like you just need to drop it. I get that you're not going to listen to me. I'm just some bumblefuck on the internet, right? I don't expect you to listen to me, but maybe you should listen to me when I say have a Snickers and calm the fuck down while you're in your car ranting about people that don't believe in the flat earth. I mean, I, there are plenty of people out there that don't uh, hold to the mythicism position, but I'm not sitting here getting this upset about how people don't agree with me. I get that people hey, aren't going to agree with me. Shit. This person just bought you a bear. Thank you, Quentin. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Daniel M a little bit ago uh, said, I can totally play my Xbox through my phone. I Bluetooth my controller to my phone and I can play anywhere. That's pretty cool. Uh, I can do that with my phone as well. There, Daniel, it's it's pretty awesome. Uh, Quentin Van Boomen says, uh, shrink it and make it look like he, he is eating it. <laughs> I, I think that I could do a much better job in Photoshop later. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, yeah, so I just I don't know why he's got to get this upset, this mad over it. Um, uh, other than if it's a close personal relationship that he's just totally frustrated with. And so that kind of just reinforces what I was saying earlier about what actually spurred this rant on who, who is he really mad about and mad at? 
because he seems to just laugh at general people that don't agree with him. Um, so this seems to hit a little bit closer to home. Who, whoever spurred on this particular rant. Fucking fault. Okay. You're covered with a dome. Space is fake. It's all bullshit. NASA is pumping money out of your paycheck every fucking day. And you don't realize it. Yes, he is. Yeah, he is definitely upset. Let me. He is an angry elf. And, you know, to be quite honest, I don't think this Snickers is helping out. But, you know. I can I can only imagine that that it can only help. So I'm just going to pop it in there right there. I mean, so Chris, um I don't think that you understand how taxes work. <laughs> I mean, a little bit of the taxes that I pay go to NASA. NASA compared to the military budget is like, you know, quarters in the couch basically. Oh, somebody subscribed to talk shit on the stream. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Um, but it's, it's really not much, but also NASA has provided us with a number of, uh, a number of, of products out there that we regularly use like Velcro. I do believe uh, that was, uh, uh is, is one of those products that was developed, um, uh, not necessarily by NASA, but in order to help that effort. Um, and, and there have been uh, several things out there that, that NASA has, um, you know, uh, th that have only come around because of uh, our efforts with NASA. So uh, multiple good things have come about it uh, besides the exploring, you know, the, the universe around us, understanding our reality better and all this other stuff. Um, so th there's multiple good things that NASA does. But, uh, you know, being all that concerned about the hundredth of a, 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 a hundredth of a cent that comes out of your paycheck going to NASA, I feel like is, um, you know, it, you're, that's just not something that you need to worry about. Um, it, I'm assuming that he does work. Yes, hon. I'm just going to go off of that assumption. I don't know if he does. But um, in, in any case, uh, I just I, I feel like he's very agitated by the idea that somebody doesn't believe exactly as he does. And I see this very commonly with uh, very religious people on the Internet. Um, you know, if, if you don't believe exactly as, you know, these radical Christians do, they get really upset about it. And, you know, they sink to the level of flat earthers in their rhetoric. And it's just, it's amazing to me that there can be so many similarities between radically religious people, radical uh, conspiracy theorists, radical uh, um, um, uh, Republicans, radical con conservatives. Um, you know, it, it, they share so many different commonalities. fucking day and you don't realize it they're giving this fake cgi bullshit that means nothing nothing okay they say they're going back out to mars they say they're going back out to the moon they say all of this shit when it's absolutely bullshit yeah but how do you know this how do you know that it's bullshit I mean, all that you've said in this video is just that space don't exist. NASA's a fraud and, you know, believe the same thing that I do or else I'm going to blow a fucking gasket. <laughs> I mean, that's all that you said in this entire video. And I've seen your other proof videos and it's really just you rambling and speculating out of your ass. I mean, in the, in the previous video to this, where your, your wife was just totally done with this bullshit. Uh, you had a pumpkin where you were trying to explain something. You don't know how to explain shit about anything concerning this topic.
I don't know about you in the rest of your life, but if it's in, if you're if your whole flat earth research is any kind of indication for the rest of your life, I would be incredibly worried about you. Uh, just in general. When it's absolutely bullshit. Okay? It's fucking lies. All of it. And if people just fucking realized it and they woke up and they came together, everything would change very, very quickly. And they just don't realize this. No, it's not that we don't realize it. It's just that we're not convinced of flat earth because flat earth is dumb as fuck. I mean, we have literal pictures of it. Of course, as he said earlier, that's just CGI bullshit. But I mean, we, we have real pictures of the earth from the moon and other places. So I don't understand why you think it's just that we don't want to believe in it or we don't want to open our eyes or we don't want to know the truth. You painting it in that way shows that you're just looking to tell a narrative that's very anti-globe. And that's the only thing that you're concerned with. So really there's no reason why anybody should trust anything that you say, because you're just putting this narrative out there. You're driving people towards that narrative and you're not actually substantiating anything that you're saying. You don't have any proof of a flat earth. You don't have any proof that NASA isn't trying to go to Mars or back to the moon. You just don't have any evidence that, that would, that would contradict those facts. And so we remain unconvinced of that. That's it. I feel like I have this conversation uh, about, um, I feel like I have this same conversation uh, about religious uh, people, like, uh, like radically religious people. Um, you know, we just remain unconvinced by your bullshit. Quickly. And they just don't realize this. They don't know it. Oh, God. You know, they're just so asleep. It's unfucking believable. We're just, we're just so asleep. <laughs> Whenever they say that kind of shit, it, I just immediately, like my brain just immediately turns off. Like if somebody's going to use that kind of rhetoric, you can immediately tell that they're not there for a serious conversation or that they're not an honest interlocutor. And so you really don't need to continue the conversation with them because they're, they're not there to actually have a conversation. They are there to tear you down. They are there to pump themselves up by making you feel horrible in some kind of way, which honestly, Nobody should feel horrible by uh, from a flat earther or anybody that's going to talk about them being asleep or something like that or for wearing a mask, for God's sakes. So, I mean, I feel like at that point you could just totally disregard anything that the person's going to say. Believable. Well, that's fine. I mean, just stay asleep. Go ahead. Bye bye. Stay asleep. Bye, Felicia. Fuck off. I don't know. Is it is it worse in New York or is it worse in your area? That's what I'd like to know. Well, it's <laughs> Casey says it's worse wherever he is. I'm guessing it's because he's there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. Alabama right now has a 45% positivity rate, like COVID positivity rate, which is, I think the highest in the nation, right? Yeah. So we're basically living in COVID hell. Um, and, uh, it's, it's pretty bad. So I don't know what it's like in his area or anybody else's area, but, um, I mean, I, I don't even know how he would measure how bad it is. See, he probably wouldn't even measure the whole COVID-19 like pandemic because he thinks that's fake. Right. So he would probably just uh, say that it's pretty bad because people are wearing masks 
or people are social distancing or, you know, it, people are taking safety precautions. Like anybody that's going to shit on, on trying to be safe, healthy and hygienic. I, I think that those are the kind of people you just don't need to take seriously at all. Is it worse in New York or is it worse in your area? That's what I'd like to know. You know? Because it's useless out here. <laughs> if I was to sit on the corner right now with a flat earth sign and and trying to spread the truth, I'd be arrested within, uh, I don't know, five minutes. This is some deep persecution porn right here. Because, no, like... Just for spouting off flat earth shit, you're not going to get arrested. Okay? You're just not. I I don't know what in the fuck he thinks he would get arrested for. Just simply standing outside on, on the side of the road, you're not going to get arrested for holding up a flat earth sign. There are plenty of people that stand out there holding up dumbass signs like abortion is murder and shit. Like, there are plenty of people that do that. So you're not going to get arrested for that. So I don't even know why you got to play up this persecution porn like you're doing. Just trying to wake these people up. Oh, fuck it. All right. Um, I hope you. Thanks guys. So sorry. <laughs> I hate it when my ear, when my buds go out, I thought that I had them charged, but apparently fucking not anyways. Um, so that's, that's it for his video. Uh, tonight it was uh, more of a look into the, of the effects of these conspiracy theories on people, uh, the, the effects on personal relationships and, and the effects of, I guess, just generally being an asshole because I feel like that's kind of the situation that he finds himself in is that, uh, you know, with, with the way that he's presented himself in this video. And that's the only thing that I've really seen from him, but it kind of seems like he's one of those assholes that constantly pushes his beliefs on other people and then blames them for not wanting to know the truth when they are just simply unconvinced. And so it's kind of one of those situations where everybody else is the problem I'm right, of course, um, is kind of the, the situation. So he's he's pretty up there on the Dunning-Kruger scale, which um, somebody asked me, let's see, Dunning-Kruger. Um, I can't exactly remember what, what the thing, let's see, P <laughs> Dunning-Kruger effect, uh, immense amount of, uh, yes, it would definitely be uh, on the, um, on the far left end or at the peak of Mount stupid. Um, so <laughs> is, is where the, uh, the, uh, where this guy would probably rest. Cause I feel like he thinks he knows a lot, but he really doesn't. And he's just so confident. Uh, zoom. He says, uh, what do you say? He's top left. Yes. Top left would be a good, uh, way to characterize that. But, um, in any case, uh, I feel like when you're, whenever you're in a household of mixed ideas, you have to set boundaries. And if you're not going to set boundaries, you're only heading for disaster. And once you set boundaries, you've got to respect boundaries. So that I think, I feel like that is really what, uh, you know, you need to take away from, from this video here is, uh, don't be the asshole that doesn't respect other people's boundaries, whether that be your spouse or just some other person, just don't be that kind of asshole. I what? Oh, apparently <laughs> we are not to have this guy rant in our house anymore. So <laughs> we'll have to figure something else out. <laughs> Um, 
But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for the stream tonight. Uh, if you're leaving out right now, I really appreciate you guys being here, uh, watching the video. Before you leave out, be sure to smash that like button. Leave us a comment either in the live chat or in the comments down below. And consider this sharing this out with a flat earth friend. Because, you know, I really need some dumbass comments on my videos. So if you know somebody that's a flat earther, share this video with them. I'm sure they'll only love it. But anyways, we're about to go into the Skeptic Mafia comments. Um, but like I said, if you're leaving out right now, have a fantabulous weekend. Um, and uh, Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And don't forget to stand up and use your voice. Bye, heathens. But don't go because we got the Skeptic Mafia comments. Which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to right now. Okay. I think the, uh, the comments, uh, should be, uh, kind of light tonight. Well, yeah, but there wasn't really a lot of like, there wasn't a lot of substance to the thing tonight. <laughs> Okay, thank you, hon. We got a new member. Oh shit, we got Darren White. Darren Wright, sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Skeptic Mafia comments. Uh, if you guys, uh, you know, uh, if this is your first stream or whatever, uh, if you don't know, any revenue that we make here off of the channel, a portion of that goes to a charity. This month, we are going to be donating to some kind of animal shelter or some kind of, uh, you know, uh, pet effort, uh, pet charity uh, that's out there. And this is uh, because uh, of it being Betty White's birthday month. And, uh, you know, everybody's trying to, to donate to something of that nature. So uh, and she was very heavily invested in that particular um, uh, uh, fight, uh, that, that particular type of charity, member. that issue. Thank you, hon. Uh, we got another member, Grendel S rage. Thank you for joining up there, Grendel. Um, all right. So first up tonight, we've got Daniel M says, I didn't see the video tonight. It's probably for the best. I got my Xbox got series X. Member. Fuck yeah, Chris became a member. Thank you there, Chris. Um, uh, let's see, I got my Xbox Series X this past Sunday and I've been playing Lawn Mowing Simulator. I fucking hate mowing. <laughs> yeah, well, he goes on to say, but playing it on a game is hilarious. John needs to play it on GE plays. Hey, I got a gaming channel that I play on sometimes. I'm currently trying to get through Halo, but it's been kind of a hectic few weeks with trying to get ahead on the, the GE schedule. So I've been trying to get uh, into that and then I'll, I'll get back on playing some games. Oh, yes, it's been, you know, New Year's birthday. We've had a busy month. <laughs> Um, but, uh, Daniel M continues with the funniest thing about the game is telling people at work about it. It's freezing. And we got some snow the other day. I told my coworker that I'm going home to do some mowing that I'm excited because I got a new mower anyway, <laughs> different kind of mower though. <laughs> anyway, flat earth is just sad anymore. Um, I'm over that scene. After a while, it just gets old. Anyway, join the Skeptic Mafia, play with the whale dong, help GE make Ray blow chunks and hang out with us. I'm thinking there should be one soon unless I missed it. It's fun. Join today. Nay, join. Or now join, whatever. Uh, th thank you there, Daniel. I appreciate that, bud. Uh, Jane Pusecker says, good evening, Mafia family. I hope everyone is staying warm and having a good night. After watching Baboon, I honestly could not listen to the stupidity anymore. I tried to find something that I could carefully piece together or break apart to try to understand and make sense of what he's trying to say, other than that he believes the Earth is flat and that anyone who doesn't believe the Earth is flat is a moron. 
all really he did was rabble on and complain about non-flat earthers and act like it's doomsday. When in truth, he is the goof goofball. If this guy is going to continue to make videos, he needs to give information why he believes what he believes and provide some kind of information to the viewer. But this guy does none of that and is just rambling, man. Yeah, he just screams about shit like, like, why won't you open your eyes? <laughs> uh, Alex Baranowski says his first statement, good evening, or good morning, good evening, good afternoon, contradicts the flat earth model. If the earth was flat, there wouldn't be day and night. Uh, the guy then goes on a tangent about people being out and about with snorkels. Is he ranting about the flat earth or COVID conspiracies? Kind of seems to be mixing the two up. I couldn't get halfway through the video. It was just too painful. What isn't painful is being a member of the skeptic mafia. You can pay a little amount or a big amount to be part of this shit show and watch exclusive GE content. Also, there's a blood crisis, so go fucking donate blood. I'm going to go do that again soon. And so should y'all thank you there, Alex. Appreciate you. We got Jester Lord full saying here's hoping that one day he can get the help he needs to clear his head and see through the lies he's been fed. Did you mean to rhyme that? Cause I feel a little bit of Tupac there. Uh, this poor man has a wife and a child suffering for his mental issues. Careful not to drag him through the mud when he's already down. Uh, yeah, I was, I was trying to be a little careful about that, but at the same time, his demeanor and everything just kind of paints him as, as, as an asshole. Yes. Thank you, honey. Glad you agree with me. You were a little concerned tonight about it at first. I know, and I want to feel bad for him, but then he says all that stupid shit. You know, you know, never mind. I changed my mind about the whole compassion thing. <laughs> Fuck them is what she says. Um, <laughs> thank you there, Jester. Appreciate you. Zach Clark says, please, please, please tell me we're going to watch the video where his wife gets mad at him for making flat earth videos in the kitchen that we did. I had that planned. Like when I, when I first saw this guy and I saw that video, I was like, I got to play this first. And <laughs> so, um, Let's see, we got Command Cyborg says, hello, world snorkels. I have no idea what you're talking about, my fellow ape. Oh, and don't drive and proselytize. Oh, proselytize. Got it. <laughs> what? I know the words coming from your face hole. I sense the, their conglomerate meaning, but it's just nonsense. No traffic. Okay. So I've noticed you aren't driving. Good for you. Close your damn windows. Then we can hear the traffic still. And you're, uh, you're off talking a load of shite anyway, th uh, though, aren't you? This is too stupid. Okay. So church is stupid. We pretty much already knew that we're on a ball. You feckin' moron. Damn gravity. You never heard of feckin' gravity. Gravity. <laughs> Thank you. Desert file. Uh, I don't know what anymore. Just happy I voted for something else. Or did I? Excuse me. I was just going to act like it didn't happen. <laughs> I'll stop right here. <laughs> Smash all the buttons. Ring a ding dong. Rama llama bing bong. That's all, folks. Thank you and good night. Transmission terminated. <laughs> Well, uh, they always sign off like that. So thank you, Command Cyborg. <clears throat> Trickster says, okay, so there's eight minutes of my life I'll never get back. This guy is making videos in his car because even his own wife won't buy his BS and tells him to take it on the road. Of course, this guy couldn't make it through this vid without bringing up they. Snorkel? This word you keep saying, I don't think it means what you think it means. Flat earthers? Welcome dementia. That is probably the most truthful thing he said in this whole video. <laughs> like subscribe and share this with someone you love or hate. 
Things are tight right now, but if you have a few extra dollars, join us in the Skeptic Mafia. G will give you a bunch of stuff to say thank you. You get to see the vid early and drop a comment to be read by GE himself. You also get some of the greatest emojis. Where else can you play with a 15-foot whale peen emoji? Uh, yeah, and we're going to be starting up the Skeptic Mafia podcast again soon. Uh, we're going to have that going. And uh, we'll also have a hangout um, this month, which it may need to. We still got one more day in this month, but I think I have an you guys have an IOU. So I'll keep that in mind. But it may have to be next Saturday uh, that um, we do the hangout. So keep that in mind. There's Skeptic Mafia. Jonathan Nichols says, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. He begins right from the outset. He shows he doesn't have the foresight to look through his car window or at the clock on the dash to confirm the time of day. The very first words out of his mouth are an indication of his grasp on reality. The video just goes downhill from there. That's as much as I'm willing to contribute this week. GE, would you like to add your own shilling? Oh, man, we've got, uh, let's see, we've got the emojis. we got the podcast. Uh, I put out a poll every week for the mafia to be able to select the video that we respond to on Fridays. This is a skeptic mafia's fault. If y'all want to know, because I put flat, (laughs) I put a flat earth video just that I just, uh, you know, very generic finding a flat earth video. Um, So if you guys want a chance to ruin the stream that week, then go right ahead. Join skeptic mafia. (laughs) Gary White says, interesting video. Hopefully that I can watch it soon, then hopefully catch the live stream tonight. By the way, last week was mine and Jane's birthday. Hopefully that you can sing the happy birthday song. Well, I'll I'll sing it for both of you guys since you mentioned it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Jane and Gary. Sorry, I forgot to do that part. <laughs> um, SN Baumung says this man uh, seems to be going through some serious mental issues and his denial of reality, probably a cause or a symptom. This seems like a good example of how conspiracy theories can ruin someone's life and why it's worth fighting against them. It's hard to feel anything but sadness towards someone like this. Ah, you see... I can I can partly agree with that SN Baumung uh cuz I I do somewhat feel for him but at the same time as you know I pointed out in the video he seems to be the asshole that is pushing things uh, and pushing boundaries. And so I I kind of on the one hand I feel a little bad for him but on the other hand he's kind of a dick. Sorry, he is a dick. <laughs> Um, for anyone who might need this explanation, force is mass times acceleration. F equals MA. Uh, if you're standing still or moving at a constant speed, excuse me, acceleration is zero. That's why we don't feel the earth move. Yeah, that's a very good explanation there. SN. Thank you. Uh, grifters do says it finally happened. The flurfs have uh, evolved into car flurfs. I guess the evolutionary pressure of his wife constantly busting his balls about flurfing while he's filming was enough to force him to become a car flurfer. I don't know. Maybe. (laughs) Drew's book reviews and other bookish things. Uh, It says, I have no words to describe this incoherent, angry rant. Honestly, it's kind of sad that he's so angry that people won't believe him. And honestly, if we did live on a flat earth, so what? Nothing would change, really. We would all go on with our lives just as we are now. I agree. Like, I don't understand what kind of hold he thinks NASA has on our general lives. Like, I I just, I don't understand why he thinks NASA has such a control over our lives or why it's such a, uh, has such a big impact on our lives. Like, I just don't understand uh, that particular aspect of the conspiracy theory. Um, 
uh, Drew goes on to say, honestly, I could not care less about the shape of the earth. Ball or flat makes no difference. Willful ignorance of reality. However, that is an issue. I am sure the guy would agree with me on that. Of course, his reality is different from actual reality. I wonder if he is from uh, Ock Morpork, the biggest city on the disc world. I wonder if the wizards at the unseen university inadvertently opened a portal to an alternate dimension and ripped him from his home and landed him here on this ball world. And now he just thinks everyone else is crazy. I feel like this could be a blockbuster movie like of the Marvel kind or something. <laughs> at least that would explain things. I would be quite angry as well if it happened to me. Anyway, he ends until the next time. Keep on reading. Next, we got Quentin Van Boeven, who says this dude has lost it. I don't think he ever made a point in the video. I don't have much else to say on the video, so time to shill. Hey, you make sure you like, share, and subscribe to GE and have Brocephus come take all your beer. <laughs> Brocephus will do it, by the way. He drinks all the beer. Every time I have to run out for liquor, it's because of Brocephus. I'm telling you. <laughs> Oh, the beers, bro. Save us. Got it. <clears throat> also consider joining the skeptic mafia for some sweet perks, like making these comments. Then we got Zumi who says, I have a list of flat earthers and where I think they fall on a particular scale from Poe to scam artist to true believer. I think CC sits between scam artist and true believer because sure he makes money off of it by doing YouTube videos, scamming people, but he's also a bit sincere, especially given that he never edited nor took down the video of his wife calling him an idiot. Anyways, onto the ASCII. Oh, it's a giant face palm. <laughs> I don't know if that works that well, but it's the Picard face palm. Anyway, looks fine on my screen. So obviously it's okay. <laughs> Shilling, insert one generic shilling here. And remember, folks, to stand up and use your voice. Unless, of course, you're a flat earther, then sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up, and listen. Bye, heathens, and blessed be. P.S. If a furry can fuck all day and night wearing a fursuit, you can wear a goddamn mask for 10 minutes. Oh, and wash your damn hands. And real engineers index at one. No, they do not. They do not. I will rant and scream. They do not! Star Trek is better than Star Wars, and that's it. Again, good night, y'all. Much love. <laughs> Thank you there, Zimmy. Uh, Diesel Jester says, does he have to work hard to be this stupid? And didn't his wife kick him out because of all the bullshit that he spouts? I don't know about kicking him out, but uh, she's definitely tired of his shit. I Heart Dog says, first he rants about masks, snorkels, then he rants about churches. Then he rants about things changing. And if everyone knew the earth was flat, what would change? Also, there was no CGI in 1969 when we landed on the moon. I don't get any of this. F fail well, insert shill. Definitely become part of the skeptic mafia uh, because you get a bunch of cool ass perks like the emojis. But also you get to leave comments like these people. Next is Elizabeth Richardson who says, oh boy, it's Cece from New York. Has his wife left him yet? She's been over his shit for a while. He has to record in his car because if he does it at home, she walks behind him and makes snarky comments. This is the strangest stream of consciousness videos I've seen from him. Masks are snorkels and do nothing? Church is satanic and a ritual like the jab? The fuck is he smoking? All he does is rent and provide no proof for any of his disjointed thoughts. Not that he has any proof. Good point. And then finally, Jason Colasite saying flurfs and cars. You may need to expand your mind after this one. It will experience shrinkage. Sort of feel sorry for him. One of his other videos shows even his wife is so full of his shite. Uh, or I guess done with his shit. She's definitely done with this shit. <laughs> Well, that's going to be it for our stream tonight. I need to go and get Xander put down uh, to bed. Not like any other kind of put downs there. Um, <laughs> it depends on, yeah, it depends on the day and the attitude. Yeah. So um, 
but anyways, um, I, I know that I had previously said that maybe tomorrow we could do uh, a skeptic mafia hangout, but I think it's going to have to wait till next weekend because uh, I'm going to be free next weekend. I realize it's the le- huh? It, it could be this Sunday. <laughs> I, I, I'll decide. Yeah. I, I mean, I'll let you guys know in the morning if we're going to do it on Sunday or not. And, um, you know, uh, I, I guess I'll just see you guys next week. We got a couple of great videos, uh, planned for next week. We've got, of course, the podcast, the, the Bible study podcast. We're going to have a clip from a discussion with Ben Shetler about all lives matter. And then we've also got a video about the age of the earth. And then we're also going to have some TikTok Christians defending slavery. So definitely tune in next week. Uh, stay tuned to the channel, 1130 a.m. Central Time uh, during the week. And uh, I guess I'll just see you heathens there. Um, Y'all, don't forget to stand up, use your voice, and all that kind of good shit. And I guess we will see you guys on Monday. Bye, heathens. Uh.